and supports the scene as well, I'm called, um, here. And um, John asked if I'd do a talk, and to be quite honest, I really just want to say no, because I'd rather just be sitting there listening like I was last year. Um, but I'm doing an OU degree at the moment, and quite often I find myself searching for a me that in his classroom or his office, and no matter how busy he is, he always says yes, he has time to help me. Um, so here I am. Um, I don't have PowerPoint, and I do have notes, because I'm quite nervous, so you just have to bear with me. Um, but once I said yes, I was kind of thinking, and I then went to see John and said, well, I said yes now, but I don't really know what I could talk about. And he said, quite casually, well, you could just talk about what a teaching assistant needs a teacher to do. And I thought, great, because that's the simplest thing in the world to do, and 99% of you sitting there are probably teachers. Um, <laughs> I've got to see a good number of you tomorrow. Um, so I went away and I thought, and I remembered someone saying, start with what you know. So I thought some more, and I realised one thing that I need for definite was that there's an awful lot that I don't know. Um, sometimes it's subject related, uh, covering top set maths year 11 springs to mind because absolutely clueless, luckily they just got on with it, it's fine. But more often, it's how to help a child achieve whatever it is that they need to achieve. Um, at the beginning of this term, I found myself sitting on some stairs for quite a considerable amount of time, talking to people's feet. Um, because he was lying at the top of the stairs. And I had no idea how to get him back to the classroom. And um, once I thought about that, I kind of thought, well, what helps when we're in a situation where we don't know what we're doing? Because that's kind of the best and the worst part of our job. We never know what our day is going to entail. Um, and so I thought some more. And I realised that Everyone I work with makes it really easy for me to be effective. Um, they just do things that I hadn't even noticed they were doing before John asked me to think about it. Um, and I suppose there's three basics. When we come into a class, particularly if it's a class we're unfamiliar with or a subject we don't know that well, it's really helpful if we have a brief outline of what you envisage happening. Because obviously the learning objective is normally fairly obvious for the kids. But if we know what it is that you need to happen in that time that we're in there, we can work towards the same goal as you and we may know that a particular child will struggle with something and we can kind of foreshadow that happening and hopefully better prepare them to deal with it. Um, it's also helpful if we know if there's anyone in particular you wants to work with because obviously we're often there to work with a particular child or a group of children but actually a lot of current research shows that it's perhaps more effective if the teacher sometimes works with the um, lowest ability or the weakest students and we actually focus on other people so that they get the teacher's input rather than just constantly getting the LSA's or the teacher's assistance input. And then the final thing we really need to know is what level of support do you want them to have? Is it something that's sort of new learning and it's vital they understand otherwise they're not going to have a clue for the next four, five, six lessons, half term, whatever it is. Or actually, do you need to know what they can do on their own? Do you need to know uh, what it is because what it is that they can do? And should we just leave them to it and see how they get on? Um, and then I kind of think, thought about, well, those are the basics, but actually, are they all we need to happen? And I thought, well, no, not really. And again, I'm really lucky because I feel this just kind of happens. But everyone I work with makes it really easy for me to talk to them, whether it's uh, to discuss concerns I've got about a child, whether it's thinking about strategies that maybe I've seen work because I'm with that child in PE as well as in history, and actually, although PE is obviously very different to history, there might be something that could work, or whether it's just going up and saying, I have no idea what happened today and I don't know how to make it different, have you got any suggestions? Um, so that's kind of a more abstract, less concrete thing, if you like. But I don't think it's possible to underestimate the importance of the relationship between LSA and teacher. Um, I work in a department mainly, so it's easier for me because I know the teachers I work with quite well. But the kids pick up on the relationship between the adults in the room. And they know if you've got the same expectations, that if you're working towards the same goal, if you're going to back each other up. And if the answer to all of those things is yes, then lessons just go better, in my opinion. Um, the kids are easier, if that's the right word. Um, and then there, we come back to me 
sitting on the stairs talking to some feet. And obviously I can't do that indefinitely. So sometimes I come up with something and I know other LSAs do, I think probably I may do it the most, that might seem a bit strange because I can't just sit there on the stairs forever. The bell's going to go, the child's going to get stepped on, all the rest of it. And if that strategy is going to work, and it may not, because we all know there's a book of, not a book of strategies that never fail. If that strategy is going to have a chance of working, I have to believe it's going to work. And I have to throw everything into it. And sometimes, even if you think I'm completely crazy, I need you to as well. Um, because what we were trying before wasn't working, and there just isn't another option. Um, and then, handy for me, Simon already mentioned it when he was talking. I saw that TED talk a while ago, um, Every Child Needs a Champion, and it really stayed with me because... Um, Rita Pearson, who's been a teacher for 40 years, she was talking about how the kids that perhaps you kind of wish were off sick because it would just make life that little bit simpler are always the ones that are there because actually they value that relationship, that connection, they need that support. And quite often they're the kids that we work with day in, day out. And we have to champion them. We have to find strategies that will work for them. We have to push them, believe in them. And we need you to as well. We need you to have the same high expectations for even the lowest ability kids. Because, again, quite often they're the kids that are more sensitive to actually how people feel. Because they're used to maybe people making judgments about them. And when everyone constantly has high expectations for them, it's amazing what they can produce and what they do know if it's expected of them. Um, when I first worked here, it surprised me a little bit that a particular teacher was so well liked by maybe the lower ability sets because, as he'll admit for himself, he doesn't tolerate rubbish and there's no shortage, shortage of reading and writing in his class. But I realised then after a while that every time he asked them to redo a bit of work or he said, no, whatever you said is just a load of nonsense, you need to think about that again, he was chipping away at the idea that that, that was all they were capable of, that they couldn't do anything. And that what they took from that is that he believed in them. And that's why they like him so much. Um, so I suppose, like I said, there's a lot I don't know. Probably most, if not all, of what I've said is stuff you do anyway. Um, but if we can find the time in this less than ideal world, which is school, you know, today I was going to spend ages practicing this, what I was going to say, and I didn't have a chance. Um, but if we can find time just to do the basics and to work on the relationship between teacher and LSA as well as between LSA and pupil and teacher and pupil, 